Good morning. Today is Tuesday. It is December the 19th. The year is 2023. It's a beautiful um, Tuesday morning. And I'm sitting here having a little bit of oatmeal and some coffee. Feel a lot better. Yesterday was kind of a weird day. I had some heartburn and some other issues going on. But after day, I feel a whole lot better. I'm sitting here listening to Grace and complain because... He's over there in that side office over there in the side seven room. To you over there on the scratch and D- he DJing. He DJing his mind that they asked out. Gotta work in here working, finishing up some stuff in here. <laughs> he he to run from one dead door to the next door. He's like, I, I want out. Why do y'all get so upset when I make comments about Christianity, Christian religion, or Muslim religion, or Jewish? They are all false. All of them are fake. Every religion on planet Earth is man-made, man-made, up, and fake. If you choose to believe in those fairy tales, that's on you. But don't get mad at the rest of us because we got common sense to know this shit is fake and not real. I've dealt with enough. Listen, unless God comes sit here at this motherfucking table right here. And have a bowl of oatmeal. I like my oatmeal with raisins. I got raisins in there. I like raisins and um, a little bit of honey. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. I put some butter in there too. I like my oatmeal with raisins, butter, honey. That's why I'm going to sit here at this damn table and have a bowl of oatmeal and a cup of coffee. I don't want to have shit y'all got to say about that fake ass shit. Y'all, I'm so sick of these fake religions running around here destroying planet Earth. That whole situation going on in Israel right now is a battle between people who all claim both sides having their own religious beliefs. It's destroying the community that they share. I ain't got time for that fake bullshit. If you black and believe in that Jesus shit, you need your fucking, you need the shit slapped out your motherfucking ass. You you know what? One of the worst things that, when I meet black people who are religious Christian people, I just want to slap that fucking shit out their fucking ass. You that motherfucking stupid? You that goddamn stupid? Look around you. You that stupid. That, when I meet black religious people, It literally, I just want to slap the shit out of their fucking ass. Because the level of stupidity that's on a level that it, it's even hard to even fathom. And y'all chase behind these pastors and these churches and these this fake shit. I'm seriously, I thought about it in my own church. And I was like, fuck it, you can't beat them, join them. Because I know I could make a killing screaming to Jesus. Have a whole choir in the background singing. Y'all love them good old gospel music. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. For showing me love and grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For showing us all this love and grace. Thank you, Jesus. For love and grace. Thank you, Jesus. For the water we drank today. Thank you, Jesus. For the water we drank. Thank you, Jesus, for all the love you've given us. Thank you, Jesus, for all the love you gave. I could do a one I could sit up here and write some great Jesus loving, worshiping songs. But y'all just love them. hits all over America. All around the world. I just can't get my mind into promoting this thing mess. You know, I have a problem with promoting something I know is false. And bring another generation of believers into this bullshit. I just watched a video of this little kid. He was doing math, 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 math. And he was only couldn't remember two or three years old. He was going through this math. <laughs> you know, other countries around the world, particularly in the Asian, they working so hard for their kids to learn math and science. I grew up in, as a Jehovah's Witness. My mother was working so hard for us to learn how to read that fucking Bible. That it was just ridiculous. My mother put all her... All seven of her children's brains and to turn them into mush, pushing his fake religious mess. 
Wouldn't it make more sense if my mother had, instead of us having, her, having us in that Keenum Hall on Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, field service, and all this other stuff, and Watchtower and wait. What was the purpose of all that shit? Because it didn't serve any purpose in our lives. It didn't help us achieve a motherfucking thing. It's the most destructive bullshit ever. What did my mother think that she was, by, by, by having your children brains turn into mush with this bullshit, what did she think that she was going to achieve with her children's lives? Y'all yeah, saw how it hit Disaster is what she achieved with her children's lives. A fucking disaster. And her grandchildren's lives. She didn't give them, she didn't give her her kids a chance. She didn't give them a foundation they can go somewhere and use their education. That's why I said if you have children, this is why I don't have children. Give your children an opportunity to excel in life. Give them a solid foundation that can be used to help them become something in life versus becoming nothing in life. That fake Jesus bullshit and Jehovah's Witness religion and all that Jewish and Christian, Muslim and all that shit can't help you achieve a goddamn thing in life. You need math, science, how to read and understand and comprehension skills. Go to school and get an education so you can become something of some importance. All my friends and associates who grew up as Jehovah Witnesses, yeah, their lives are in despair. Just have it. They didn't learn after that's children. They didn't learn. You, we didn't get anything of any value that can help us to be adults. We didn't learn anything about banking or finance or uh, paying bills or you know, structuring our lives or we didn't learn anything of any importance. We've been better off learning how to play instruments or something. Trying to learn to play at a piano or do something. I mean, you rammed, my mother rammed this bullshit ass religion down our throats 24 hours a day, seven days a week for years. And then everybody walked away from it. What did we gain from that experience? Nothing. N nothing. I don't know anybody who grew up in a Jehovah Witness religion who gained anything of any value from that fucked up ass religion. Nobody. And for that matter, I don't know anybody who grew up in a church who gained anything of value from their fucked up ass Baptist or whatever fucked up ass religion they were attending. That Jesus bullshit is just a setup for failure. You got to find, and everybody I know who so caught up in the church, so caught up in religion, so caught up with believing they all fucking broken in some type of financial problem because they haven't they don't have the skill sets to go out and do anything productive with their lives you don't know how to lay bricks or paint they have no skill sets they didn't learn anything except how to flip through some damn worthless ass book that should be taken out back and burned all the religious books throw that shit in the trash and now some of y'all be getting so upset, but I'm going to have this conversation. I don't give a fuck. Delete me if you don't like me, because I'm tired of this fake ass bullshit being rammed down our children's throats and, and, and more and more generations being lost in this bullshit. And they ain't learning nothing. They ain't learning shit in these damn churches. They ain't learning a goddamn thing. Uh, the church don't even show you how to scramble a fucking egg. I ain't yet met anybody who learned anything from going to these churches. Nobody. Not one person. Nobody. <clears throat> I know a lot of fucking people. Like I said, everybody I know that's caught up in that religion, we were sitting in church every Sunday, church this, that, and Jesus, that broke. Broke. Who's my own mama? What have y'all gained from this? What has Jesus done for you lately? <laughs> Not a damn thing. Yeah, what has he done for you lately? Get me by my friends talking about some religion gives hope. Hope for what? You dead? I don't need no hope when I'm dead. I'm right here living now trying to eat my oatmeal, drink my coffee, go to the gym. And pay for this expensive ass house. I got workers running around here doing 
Jesus ain't paid for shit in this motherfucking house. I think he came over here and cleaned these gutters out and cut the grass over the weekend. Jesus ain't came up here talking about me. Jesus loves you. Well, show me you love me by paying this motherfucking mortgage, Jesus. That's a, that's the love you can give me. So then Jesus loves everybody. This is a Jesus love. I don't know. These niggas and lost their fucking mind. If you black and you fall in this Jesus shit, you need the motherfucking shit slapped out your fucking ass. I don't give a fuck if you a family member, friend, dog, cat, whatever. You somebody needs to haul off and slap the shit out your fucking ass because you're stupid as hell. Y'all ain't walked away from this bullshit yet. Y'all still insist upon believing in this fake shit. Let them white folks have that bullshit. Y'all don't need it. Let them have it. You ain't did it. You get nothing for their evil answers either. Went to the post office yesterday. All the post offices were packed. And the one I normally go to was super duper packed. So I ended up having to drive across town and drop something off. And while I was over there, so let me run into this post office. All white area. White folks said, hey, Merry Christmas. They're so happy. And I'm the only nigga in there. They couldn't wait. Happy, happy, how are you doing? The token nigga in the post office. So, listen, yeah, I don't trust them white folks as far as I can throw their motherfucking asses. I was just trying to drop some mail off in there and get, had to get in line and get out of there. But it felt like all, all the white folks just had, oh, how are you doing? Oh, oh gosh, you must work out. And it's a, so friendly. They police, they pretend to be friendly when they bump into you in the street, move next door to their motherfucking asses and see what happens. And, then they just, and it was so, it was ridiculous. It, was, it got to a point it was so ridiculous that the guy, who was working behind the counter, he's watching this shit. He's looking at this big nigga standing there with these packages. And these white, white people walking by, I all had to stop and speak. He just shook his head. He looked at me, he's just like, because he know the same thing I know. These devious ass demons. <laughs> and they fake smiles. And they fake, hello. See, you niggas fall for that shit. I don't. I'm atheist. I ain't got time for all that shit, honey. I look at my folks and say, get the fuck out my face. Keep it moving. I ain't one of them other niggas. I just want to mail my packages. We ain't friends. Keep moving. You didn't finish your post dealings at this post office? Haul ass, nigga. Get on about your business. We ain't friends. You know, so I don't have all this, you know, being atheist makes it easier for me to tell niggas, to tell motherfuckers, fuck you, uh, and your white racist ass you came from. I, I, sometimes I watch the news, right? I see somebody, a, a shooting, some eight people dead. And the news, the newscast always say, do you forgive the person who did this heinous crime to your mother, brother, sisters, and your dog? They killed all them people in this house. Do you forgive them all? You forgive them for killing everybody in there? Even the goldfish? Yes, I'm a Christian. I forgive them. And I just sit there looking at that shit, y'all. Somebody in your house killed everybody. The dog, the goldfish, your mama, your brother, your sister, your dad. Everybody did. And you forgive them. That's some ignorant-ass Christian bullshit. No, nah, I'm not forgiving you for them. You didn't have to kill my goldfish. You didn't strangle the life out the motherfucking goldfish, too. You deserve the fucking death penalty for that. For every person you killed in this house, you, you deserve the death penalty. There's always somebody black. Oh, I forgive them. I forgive you. This ignorant shit. But anyway, I, I'm going to do a video about maybe federal races ass. You know, y'all love these white folks and they banking institution. They can't stand y'all asses. Y'all have been kicked out of every bank in America. I have been kicked, literally kicked out of every bank. Let me see. I've been kicked out of Bank of America, Wells Fargo, uh, First Union, maybe Federal Act kicked me out of here, let me back in there, man, miraculously. Um, um, every bank in America you can think of and threw my ass out. Why? Because I had money in my bank account. When well, you're supposed to say, well, everybody should have money in your bank account. Uh-uh, it was too much money in there. They didn't like it. We'll talk about that in this video about Navy Federal. Because I found this whole thing with Navy Federal would be very interesting. And I, so I'm, I'm going to take care of that. And if you can finish eating my oatmeal first. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. This is my, I just want to get this Christian shit off my damn chest, you Christian-loving motherfucking idiots. Uh, bunch of Jesus Christ wasn't even a Christian. First off, Jesus Christ didn't even exist. Uh, 
fake bullshit. But anyway, me and my old man, I'm talking about the back of the Navy's Fredo. Today is Tuesday, December 19th, the year 2023. I'm out of here. It's a few days before Christmas. And I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of this gorgeous, beautiful Tuesday morning.